If you're wanting to use your graphics cards to earn ETN again, like before the ASICs, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to with Cast XMR, XMR Stack, and Thor's Hammer Mining Pool right now. Alright guys, this is going to be a small departure from the way I normally do my educational videos. I'm going to be try to be short and sweet uh, as much as possible in this video. This is going to be kind of a 50,000 foot view, how to get you connected with your mining rig to the Thor's Hammer mining pool uh, and get you earning ETN as quick as possible. If you want a little bit more depth uh, I have several videos on my channel. Just go to my main page and scroll down and you'll see plenty of videos where I go into further depth on how to set these up. Okay, short and sweet. Let's get to it. All right, so how is this working in the background? The short and sweet version, 50,000 foot view. Essentially what we have going on is we are mining or using your mining rig to mine one coin. Those coins are sent to an exchange. They are sold, exchanged for ETN, and then you are paid out in the background with ETN. Uh, just really quickly, you can see here, I have been mining um, with two of my Vega rigs and my... Vega Farm 3, which is my mining rig that we're going to be using. It is a test rig that I use to do most of my videos on. It's a two-card two Vega 56 rig. As you can see, I've only been mining about eight and a half hours now. And in that amount of time, I have already earned 432 ETN. Don't worry about it saying ETN fast there. It's actual ETN coins. Okay. So if you look at the pending balance, I've made almost 450 coins uh, in a eight hour period, eight and a half hour period. Pretty darn good. Now that's not going to hold true forever. Um, profitability, uh, the coin that's being mined in the background, all right, with that being said, the coin that you're mining can change. On this particular pool, it's set up as Kryptonite Fast or Mazari. Okay, so I'll show you that in just a moment, but that gives you an idea of what's going on. You're mining another coin, they're being sold and then exchanged for Electronium, and then you're getting paid out in ETN. Very similar to you mining the coin directly obviously you're not mining the coin directly but you're getting paid out as if you were all right all right so we have brought up our test rig this is a two card vega 56 rig what we want to do very first thing is download our packages and I'm going to go here and download the latest and greatest from Cast XMR. guys the description below will have all of these links so cast XMR 1.6.6 is the latest and greatest at the time of making this video. Let's go to XMR stack 2.7.1 zip for Windows. Guys, I was going to do uh, XM rig as an example for you, but this particular machine has 18.8.1 drivers on it. Uh, and as you can see, uh, XM rig does not play well with the newest versions of AMD's drivers. So I am not going to uninstall the drivers and install a older version of driver just to give you an example. So we're going to stick with cast XMR and XMR stack in this video. All right. So open up your downloads folder. We're going to start out with uh, cast XMR because that's what this machine is already running. So I'm going to double left click this guy 
and I'm going to go ahead and double click the run. And what that's going to do is prompt me to extract and I'm going to say extract all. And I'm going to go ahead and extract it into the downloads folder. All right, I'm going to close this guy in the background out, which is the one that we needed to extract. All right, so as I said, I already had uh, already had this particular program on this machine, just an older version. So what I all I want to do to update the miner is to drag this executable file here, the cast XMR file and put it in the recycling bin now it's gone from my home page i'm not going to use switch radeon gpu not for this setup not for this video the only thing i really need over here to update this miner is to pull this file over here all right let's go ahead and close this out i've already got my run.bat file set up if you need help setting this up, there's plenty of help online. There is also uh, multiple videos that I have done uh, to help people get this run.bat file populated. So we're going to do kind of a 50,000 foot view. The file is already open. You can see here, cast XMR Vega, that's the executable portion. This dash dash fast job switch, that's just to keep you from uh, mining on a stale job uh, it's a nice little feature and the thing you need this is the important part is dash dash algo equals eight remember if you're wanting to hook up to this pool in mine to this thor's hammer mining pool then you need dash dash algo equals eight all right dash s is the mining pool so if we go back to our other screen, all right, you can see here, this is the mining pool address. You can copy and paste that into the file. Uh, and then the port number for this Vega 56 rig, I'm going to use uh, 6003. Uh, honestly, uh, that's a kind of a uh, low starting difficulty. Uh, he may adjust that in the future. He may leave it alone. Uh, after eight hours, it seems to work okay. Um, so I'll probably just leave it alone. Again, the in the description below, you're going to have the link to this pool. All this information is just as you see it on my screen now. You can grab it off the website uh, and help populate your run.bat file for CastXMR. All right, the remainder of the file. Let me go ahead and fix this 6002 and put 6003 in there. All right, you're going to put your dash U is your ETN wallet address that you want to be paid out to. Dash P is your rig name that you want to use to identify it uh, on the, the Thor's Hammer website. And then dash G is the graphics cards that are being used this is a two card rig so it's zero comma one if you had four cards it would be zero comma one comma two comma three all right then percentage asterisk that's it so we're going to go ahead and save this file and double click the run button and it's going to throw up a warning the very first time you run it. You're just going to click run anyway. You can also go up here, right click the cast XMR, click properties, and then unblock. Apply. Okay. You can also go into Windows Defender and add an exception for this file. After you run it for the first time, it's not necessary, so it's not really a big deal to do it. I'm just going to click Run Anyway. As you can see, it's trying to connect to the pool. Connected to the pool. And it's off. As you can see here, Share Accepted. It's already accepted three shares. As I said, the difficulty, starting difficulty is a little low. But as you can see, 
it is now mining. Let's go check it on the pool side, see if it Vega 3 is back up. All right, as you can see, Vega Farm 3 is now connected. Got a green check, good status, and the hash rate is starting to climb. So we are submitting good work to the pool. Uh, that's it for Cast XMR. Let's get into XMR stack. Let's go ahead and shut our Cast XMR down. I'm going to go ahead and open this run.bat file because it's going to hold the information that we need when we populate our Cast XMR file for the first time. The first time we go to run. All right, so downloads folder. We're going to double click our cast, or I'm sorry, our XMR stack. And we're going to click on it, and it's going to do the same thing. Prompt us, extract all. I'm going to extract it to the same downloads folder right here. Extract. All right, I'm going to close that guy out, the one that needed to be extracted. I've got my file here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is drag this to the desktop. Whenever I run these mining programs on a mining um, specific machine, in other words, not my desktop and my home or anything like that, but my mining specific machines, the only use for this machine is mining. So I don't mind having this stuff on my desktop. Makes it a lot easier to get to. I don't have to click through folders and all that stuff. All right. So we're going to open it. Go ahead and close that other window down. And I'm going to run XMR stack for the first time. So double click it. Same thing as before. Run anyway. All right. It's asking me the HTTP interface that, that I want to use, the uh, port number right now, uh, I'm not going to use that feature, so I'm just going to press zero. If you want to know how to use that, again, I've got cast XMR and XMR stack videos, in-depth um, setup videos that you can watch and learn more about these features, okay, if you have any questions. All right, very important part here. We want to use Mazari as the algorithm. Nothing else, not Kryptonite Heavy, not Kryptonite Mazari, Mazari. Very important, otherwise you're going to submit the wrong work. So we're going to highlight it, press Enter, and then right click. See Mazari come up, press Enter. Now it's asking for the pool address. That's why we left our cast XMR file up run.bat file so we could steal this information off. I'm going to copy it and I'm just going to paste this in here by hitting the right mouse button twice. Press enter. And then username. That is my wallet address. Copy. Paste. Enter. And I'm going to give it an X for no password. And then rig identifier, I'm going to call this Vega Farm 3. Actually, you know what? Let's call it uh, Vega, Car F Vega Farm 4. So when we go back to the pool, we can actually look at it and know that we're submitting good shares and it's not something uh, that we did out of previous work with cast XMR. So it's going to be Vega Farm 4. I'm going to press enter. Does this port support uh, does this pool support TLS SSL? We're going to say no. Do you want to use nice hash? I do not. Do you want to use multiple pools? That's neat to set up. We're not going to do that. Again, I have other videos on all those neat little features. I do want to mention something before I proceed any further. If you're new to mining or if you want something that you can just hit the start button and go, Cast XMR is the better way to go. I've used XMRig, I've used Cast XMR and XMR Stack. And from a user-friendly standpoint, Cast XMR is the way to go. Um, you 
may have some, you know, maybe a little bit less hash rate. You could put that argument up. Uh, for me, it's not worth it. You sit there and you double click the run.bat file and it runs. Uh, cast XMR is just the better way to go. XMR stack uh, is very picky about the drivers that you use and the setup obviously is a lot longer, uh, a little bit more difficult for the entry level user. Just my opinion, but cast XMR in my opinion is the way to go. But we're going to go ahead and finish this out. XMR stack, press enter here. I do not, excuse me, N, and then it's going to start up, and you can see here, uh, memory location failed. I'll need to set that up on this uh, rig that has to do with the CPU. Um, you can see that it did log in, and... Looks like it's still building up. CPU is just now starting to report. Let's press C for connection. Yeah, it's starting to take off here. Uh, XMR stack is a little slower when it goes to take off. It does look like it is connected. All right, I paused the video and just unpaused it, so I didn't want you to have to sit there and wait through that. As you can see, uh, result accepted by the pool. Result accepted by the pool. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring up our pool again. And now, as you can see, Vega Farm 4 is live. So we are now mining uh, with XMR stack to the pool, and we will be paid out in ETN. Now, as far as tuning this thing and getting the best drivability out of it, so to speak, uh, that's gonna that's in another video okay again i've got that stuff there just look through my channel there's plenty of xmr stack and cast xmr videos let's go ahead and close this guy out all right so that was about as quick of a video as i could make um most of my educational videos are 30 minutes to an hour hour and 10 minutes long uh i hope this was valuable to you i really do and this is a really cool thing that this gentleman has done. So kudos to him for setting this up for the community. And guys, this is a tremendous opportunity to get your ETN by way of your mining graphics cards again. Okay. If you like my content and this was helpful for you, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. I've got a lot of good content on here for the miners. Uh, kryptonite variants specifically. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time.